So I want to talk about an anime that is very weird, but at the same time, it highlights a problem that a lot of mangakas do in their manga, and that is the comic artist and his assistant. Now, this anime is weird, mainly because the main character, he's a mangaka, and just know that, we'll just say that he has a certain thing that he likes a lot, and he draws it a lot in his manga. And that is underwear, but you know, certain underwear is panties. He's like drawing, he likes drawing that, so he'll show panties anytime that he can in them in his manga. And he also has an assistant, and she happens to be a woman. The person that like manages his like his editor, I should say, that's a woman. His like big editor of the company is a woman, so he's basically surrounded by all these different women. Even like a another person that comes to help him draw some of his work, she's a woman. So like he's surrounded by all these different women and girls and all that, and it's just like and it's like dog, he's obsessed with underwear. And I mean, he's so obsessed that even his fans were complaining about his work and like his stuff was coming unpopular at a certain time and he met a fan and like one of the people, one of his fans that he meets happens to tell him and he's like, yeah, your work just doesn't feel the same anymore. I'm not enjoying it as much. And it, it's wild, man. I don't, because each episode will show this man really enjoying, like, yo, I need to draw this. Because he'll even ask his assistant, like, yo, can you show me your underwear that I can draw? I need some type of inspiration. Yes, there are a lot of wacky little fan service ish things that happen in here. And just know each episode ranges from six to 12 to 15 minutes, mainly because the regular series, I'm pretty sure, is like six to eight minutes at times. But then you have the, the six OVA episodes that like ranges in like length. But just know it's just one of those super short anime that happens like that. But just, it's all over the place at times because it just have you wondering like what what am i watching and the thing i was talking about earlier when i said it like it highlights a certain problem that a lot of mangakas do in their work and that is because a lot of mangakas have fetishes in their manga and you can tell there's a lot of manga whenever you see something reoccurring and it's a lot example let's look at prison school in prison school what happens a lot in like them first like suit like early on especially in season one you see it a lot is like there's a lot of pee scenes so that makes you question like oh does the manga have a fetish or something i'm just saying so it kind of highlights that in this series even though this series is very weird because the main the main character he's like so obsessed with underwear and it's kind of weird and nuts at times like this man will even go to stores and even buy them at times because he's so obsessed with them he even will go into detail about each one and what makes it special all this and yeah that's just like the one weird thing about this because i mean each episode is pretty short but it was just like why is it so weird because i think the regular series was 12 minutes now that i think about it it was it was the ovas that are six something but i digress yeah it was just very weird but it does now i will say this even though i'm calling it weird at the same time there's a lot of funny moments in here and out of pocket wild moments there's a moment where the main guy since he you know he's so obsessed with underwear that he's wearing ladies underwear so all the girls that are around him they go to like try to unpants him because they're like dog they trying to figure out so yes there's a lot of out of pocket moments in here but at the same time there's a lot of very weird moments too but if this was in english if it had a dub it low-key would be a thousand percent way more funnier because you know you know comedy dubs are usually way more funnier than you know japanese sub but this anime is still very weird but i'll give it its props there are times there's some funny moments in here but there's also a lot of weird moments because a lot of the funny moments come from a lot of the weird stuff but still i'll give it its props it does have some times that it'll have you rolling because it's some out of pocket stuff happens that's the only thing it does is just it highlights how weird mangakas can be when it comes to like certain fetishes they have or certain things that they want to put in their manga and you can tell it becomes a fetish after a while because they show it so damn much like there's some crazy that you can notice that like if you ever see a series and you see something reoccurring a lot and you're just wondering like why are they showing this so much there's a trust me there's a lot of really great series that have certain things in it and they show it a lot a lot there's a really good seinen series that people consider one of the best ones ever or something like that and just know it has a lot of grape in it and it'll make you question like why are they showing that so much because like if you're showing something too much at that point you got something some type of thing going on with you and maybe you might enjoy whatever this is way too much though but yeah if you've seen the comic artist and his assistants let me know how you feel about it if you've not seen it maybe you want to check it out it's an okay series the only you know the only reason why i've seen this because i own it on blu-ray i bought this on a whim because it was on amazon and i saw it wasn't on sentai no more and it was super cheap and i just bought it but then i watched it and i was like wow why did i buy this it's one of them ones that made me think like why did i buy this but i mean you know me i buy so many different blu-rays that i don't even care what i'm buying at times because i just pick stuff randomly and sometimes majority of the time it's something i really enjoy every once in a while i'll get a series that i'd be like damn why did i waste my money on this and that kind of was this series but at the same time it wasn't that bad it's just it's very weird i'm sorry there's a lot of weird ass scenes in here and even scenes with 
there's some very weird scenes i'll say this at times that's all i'm gonna say and it has certain character designs that makes you questions certain adults looking certain ways that make you be like why did they do this in this series but yeah it's one of them series that i would say either you watch it or you don't watch it because you're not missing out on anything each episode is pretty short like i said it's roughly six to 15 minutes it's not really that long of a series there's reg the regular series is 12 minutes plus it has six ova so 18 episodes in total but it's not really nothing special it just highlights that certain mangas you know they have a thing that they love showing in their manga a lot and his shit is kind of hilarious though because it'll be because bro he'll go in detail on why he has to show panty shots it is hilarious sometimes i'll give you that there are some funny moments like that and then, like his assistants begin mad because like i said he works with basically all women and that's why his assistants will feel a certain way because it's like dog why are you so obsessed with our underwear type of thing so it gives that off but still there's a lot of funny moments because like he'll go into detail and explain like why he has to show this certain scene in this certain shot and it's always wild because like it'll be a scene where his like because i think he writes a romance um a manga or something like that and it'll be him trying to go in detail like what's happening in the scene and out of nowhere it's just like oh the main character sees a panty shot and he has to see it it's ridiculous though <sighs> but yeah if you're new why not and subscribe enjoy the video and i like if you didn't dislike subscribe you really enjoy but yeah if you've seen this anime let me know how you feel about it like i said it's very weird it, it's up there as one of them weird ones but it's not the weirdest thing ever because trust me there's so many manga that have you know or manga and anime that have brother sister relationship and though that's pretty weird too but i'm just saying this one is another one that's just very weird but it does highlight a certain aspect that you see a lot of in my opinion a lot of mangas do because trust me there's a lot of stuff that they include in their work that has you questioning like why are they including this so damn much and it makes you just think like do they have do they have a fetish or something it just makes you think that though but yeah thank you for watching i'll see you next video though bye but yeah he's the anime is weird though i'm gonna keep it a buck it is weird before you even go out and watch it just know it's very weird but you might get a few giggles but it is hella damn weird though